Hey everyone, it's Robin at Bird's Nest YouTube channel. What does summer mean to me? Drive-in movies, going to the cottage, swimming in a pool, and after all these activities, summer means enjoying an ice cream cone. That's right, ice cream cone screams summer. In this video, I'm going to be showing you three ice cream cone decor. It's part of the Heidi Sonbowl DIY Summer Challenge. Make sure to check the description box for Heidi's channel link and the link to the summer playlist. If you like sewing, painting, handwriting, woodworking, Dollar Tree DIYs, thrift lips, and so much more, check out Heidi's channel. DIY number one waste paper basket. I was watching this video of friends of mine that have a YouTube channel called Penguin and the Chef and they went to this peach market thing where you could go shopping and stuff and what I saw there was a garbage can and it looked like an ice cream cone. I originally had this idea to use a pair of these fuzzy socks and I opened it all up, cut it all, and then I re-glued it on to one of these round planters to make the lid. And then I took some of this ribbon and I just um, glued a round piece onto this cap. And this is going to be my cherry because I wanted to put a cherry on top. I also took some of this duct tape and I made a stem out of it and then I just glued that on. Next I took the waste paper basket part and I wanted to make a cone out of it so I just took some burlap and I cut the burlap in pieces and I was winding it around the outside of the waste basket. I did try the burlap at first on the inside but it wasn't coming out how I wanted it so I decided to put it on the outside instead and this was giving the look of the mesh on the inside of the basket as well as the burlap color that I was going for so once I had that I did put the lid on and it's nice because you can put your garbage in the hole at the top and then I put the cherry on. This is how it looked at first, but I wasn't happy with it. So I had this furry brown throw and I decided to cover it with that instead. So all I did was cut a piece out of the throw and then I glued it all on. And I like this look so much better. I just loved it. I thought it looked really good. So once I did that and I glued on the cherry, I did take some more pieces of the furry rug and I put them on either side of the cone just to give it that just fresh scooped ice cream look. Here's how it turned out. DIY number two, ice cream truck decor. Using an already DIY truck I went on the computer and looked up what an ice cream truck looks like and then I basically drew it on the other side so I could cut it out and I did use a knife to cut this be very careful if you decide to use a knife because it is sharp and I was very very careful so I did have to cut off the front end because um original truck is like a pickup truck and I was going for more of an ice cream truck shape. I also had these wheels that I had planned to originally cut out but I like the look of them so much that I decided to use them in the project. So I just put the wheel to the side for now and then I took the truck. I wanted to make the inside window a bit bigger because on an actual ice cream truck the window is a lot larger on that side so I did do that then I wasn't sure what color paint I should paint it so I mixed up a few different colors and then I decided to paint the truck 
Then I had to fix the wheel, so I took the wheel off on the other side and using hot glue, I glued it into place and I also glued the front wheel into place as well. I also took some tape. This is from the Dollar Tree because I wanted a window where you could actually buy the ice creams. And then I glued the wheels on. Then I took some dowels that I'd cut out because my ice cream truck window needed a little shelf at the bottom and also I wanted to put some little curtains at the top because the ice cream truck that I looked at online did have a little curtain. So I'm just deciding what to put as the little shelf and I did decide to go with the dowel. I just glued that on. Here it is so far. Once I had the dowels on, then I cut some popsicle sticks, just the ends, and I glued them on as the little curtain. Then I colored all the little curtain with marker. I had this cute little sign and decided to put that on and I went and bought some of these little ice cream cones. They are actual candy that I got at Dollar Tree and I put that on. Then I made a sign that said ice cream. I wasn't happy with the sign and I had these little words that I got at Dollarama. So I just painted the sign over white and then using the words, I glued them on to the truck, not only where the sign was, but in other spots as well. And here's the truck so far. I decided to add some burlap all along the window and make some little ice cream cones and here's the finished product i'm really happy with how it turned out ice cream man ice cream man diy number three ice cream cones in holder using some of these little shot glasses i got from dollar tree i decided to paint them white i had two of them and i just used a sponge and some homemade chalk paint to paint them. Then I let that paint dry. I also got this cute headband from Dollar Tree and I did take the little pom-poms off and once they were off, I glued them to the inside of the little cuffs. I also had this snack pack box that I painted white and once I was done that, I did end up cutting it in half and after I cut it, I took the top piece and the bottom piece. I turned the bottom piece upside down and then I glued it to the bottom of the bottom piece. Once that was dry, I was able to put my two little ice cream cones in and have an ice cream cone holder. Now you can make three different ice cream cone decor to brighten up your summer. Here comes the ice cream man. What says summer more than the ice cream man coming to your town, driving around, and you going and getting 
a yummy treat. Well, that's it for my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you liked it. And if you like this video, make sure you check out the playlist. It's part of the Heidi Sambul DIY Summer Challenge. Check out the playlist in the description box of all the wonderful creators who participated in this challenge and make sure to check out Heidi Sambul's page. Check my channel very soon for Hall's DIYs try-ons in my room.